Hello all, welcome back to our channel. Today we can discuss about the time of management in Auto 15. So we can move to the time of module. When we enter into the dashboard window, we can see that the window is in the calendar format. And we can view the employees time off based on the day, week, month and year. And while clicking on the arrows, we can see the previous time of details of the user. And the window provides the options like new time of and allocation request. So if we click on the option, we can uh, create the new time of and the allocation request as well. Here we have the color format options to manage and to easily identify the time of request. So to get that, we should have to enable the option time of type. So here we can see while enabling the time of type, the color format appearing in the window. And also we can see whether the time of is validated or need to be approved or refused. And here we can see the number of days available for the time of extra time off and the compensatory days in hours. Here we can view the window according to the list view and the calendar view. And here we have the options to uh, schedule or plan activity. We can choose the customizable options like filters and favorites. Now let's move on to the my time off. Here we can see the details like my time of type, description, start date, end date, duration, status and also we can see the options to approve or refuse the time off. So to create a new time off, click on the icon and here we can provide the details like time of type and here we can set the date. And here we can provide the description for the time off. So after providing the details, we can save this. Now let's move on to the my allocation window. And if you want to request additional leaves than the allotted leaves, you can submit a request for the allocation. So here we can choose the allocation request type. So if you want to create a new request for the allocation, just click on the create icon and here we can choose the name or type of uh, allocation. Here we can choose the time of type and here we can set the du uh, duration and also we can add the reason for the allocation. Now let's have a look at the overview window. Here we can see that the window gives the gun view. And this gives a close analysis or overview for all time off of the organization. Here we can see the employee's name and the profile. And here it shows the time of details of the particular employee. And here we can view the report on the basis of day, week, month and year. And can also use the customizable options like filter, group by and favorites. It is also possible to view the window according to the calendar view. Now let's have a look at the menus available under the approvals tab. So when we comes to the all time off menu, we can track the employees paid time off sick days and the approval status. So with the help of this window, the employer or the authority can manage the approvals or rejection of the employee time of request. And it is possible to view the time of records based on the status and the department. So we can create a new time off. Here we can enter the name of the time off. And here we can choose the employee's name. And here we can set the date from to this uh, from date to the end date. Annual time off, sick time off, and the previous management details. So if we click on the approve button, it will marked as uh, 
as approved and it will change into the second approval and if you want to validate you can change to the approved state so that means the time off is done now let's look at the allocation window here the allocation menu helps the employers or the authorities to validate or to review the employee allocation. Here they can create new allocation using the create icon. So here in this form we can provide the details like time of type. And here we can choose the time of type. So here we can choose the allocation types like regular allocation and accrual allocation. So if it is regular allocation, it uh, can provide the validity period and the duration. And if it is accrual allocation, we should have to specify the accrual plan here. And here we have to enter the start date and here we can enter the duration. And here we can add the reason for the allocation. And here we can choose the mode by employee company department and by employee type. So based on the mode, we can allocate the employees, company, department, employee type, etc. So here we can choose the employee name. Now let's like look into the configuration aspect of the module. So let's move on to the time off. This can be used uh, in different situations of the time of management. Now we can create a new time off. Here we can provide the name and in the time of request section, you, uh, we need to uh, select the approvals like no validation by time of officer, by employee's approval, by employee's approval and the time of officer. So here we can choose any approval. And here we can choose the uh, name of the responsible time of officer. And here we can choose the take time of like day, half day and hour. So if you need to take a uh, time off for the half day, you can choose the option half day. And if you need to take early four hours, you can choose the option hours. Here uh, we have the options to enable or uh, disable the uh, detect extra hours so if you enable the detect extra hours it detect the extra hours in the attendance and also we have the options to uh, enable allow to join supporting document and here we can see the company name additionally the work entry type can also be selected under the payroll section and here in the allocation request you can uh, select uh, require location employee request and the approval and in the display option we can choose the color and the cover image for the time of type so now let's move on to the actual plan it is the new feature in Odoo 50 it can be used uh, to set up the accrual type allocation so it allows the employees to accrue paid time off each year and it can be used for the vacation and sick leaves. So while analyzing the senior accrual plan created before, we can see the name, time of type. And here we can see the level transitions like immediately and after the accrual period. So if it is selected immediately, the accrual will be automatically granted. And if you select the after this accrual period, it is granted when the accrual is completed. Now here we can set the levels for the rules. So here we can set uh, this uh, here we can set when to start the accrual plan. So the accrual plan will start after the defined period from the 
employee start date so we can choose according to the day month and years so here we can enable the option uh, based on work time so if it is enabled the approval plan accruses for the time worked by the employee and that's the time when the employee didn't take the time off here we can rate Read the field uh, according to the day and hours. Here we can set the frequency like daily, weekly, twice a month, monthly, twice a year, and yearly. And here we can choose the limit for the actual. And finally, we can uh, choose whether the unused accruals may carry forward or not. So here we have two options. So here we can see the newly created rules. Now let's move on to the public holidays. Here we can see uh, the public holidays like name, company, start date and date, working hours, working entry types. So to create a new public holidays, we can enter the details here. Now let's move on to the reporting section of the auto time off here we have two options like by employee and by type so we can report by choosing the options like by employee and by type here the employee type menu gives an exclusive report of the time of analysis and it can be viewed in the list view pivot view and in the calendar view And we goes to the byte type. Here, with the help of this window, the total leaves uh, leave type can be easily analyzed. So, using the time of module, it is very useful for the overall coordination of company's operation. So, that's all about the time of management in order fifteen. <laughs>